I asked Kurt a question about this shipping box. Hey, Kurt, I got a question about the shipping. Oh, oh, oh. my God. Oh, not again. What just happened? Not again. Every time. It's my sander. I, I might have to buy a new one because normally it's got this Velcro pad that, and it just keeps flying off because it's worn out. Oh, Do you that's... think I need to buy a new one? <sighs> that's a shame. I mean, I could get you the other one, but that's pretty... I don't think everybody has a second sander available. No, normally they don't. Well, what are we going to do about that? Oh, wait. Check it out. Replacement parts. Made in China. Well, guys, this has never happened to you, because it's certainly happening to me. Now, let me just take this off. Quit all the silliness. Seriously, guys, these, it's, this is a wear item. And a lot of people out there don't know that you can buy a replacement disc for your sanding pads. And this works for Milwaukee Sanders, as well as a lot of other different brands. And we bought these ourselves, paid for them with our own money on Amazon. And they're made, you know, probably in China or something. But we got a two pack for like, 15 bucks, and we're going to show you just how easy it is to fix your sander. So you're going to grab your handy dandy Torx bit if you're working on a Milwaukee. May work similar on other sanders, but for our Milwaukee, there's a T25. Take out the screws. Don't mind my fumbling around. That's the old pad. Keep your screws. They're a little stuck on me, but take your new pad. Place it right on there. Line up your screw holes. Take your screws. Put them in the holes. This whole process may take you a whopping five minutes. Make sure you don't cross thread them. Get them in there nice and hand tight first. apply just a little bit of torque to those nothing crazy now I think we're back in business Why did the old one fail? Well, one, it's, it's, it is a wear item. But two, we use these palm sanders a lot out in the field. We've done, you know, a few projects where we needed to put a wood handrail on as well as we did some deck restorations. So some of our guys weren't very uh, knowledgeable. Gentle. <laughs> gentle. Or, or gentle with the sander. And, you know, it's either you, you can push way too hard you could be sanding on an angle, uh, just anything where you're going to cause excess heat in here and excess wear on the sanding pad. And maybe you just have a lot of hours on your sander and these things will wear out over time. But try to avoid it if you can. And if you do need to put a new one on, it's not a big deal. We got ourselves a two pack, so we have an extra one. We do have two of these sanders, so we figured having an extra is not going to be a problem. And putting this in in the field should be pretty easy as long as you have access to the proper tool. And for these Milwaukee's, that would be a T25. So I hope this was a helpful little quick video for you guys today. And uh, if there's anybody out there that has one of these sanders and has one of these problems, well, this is what you can do. We just searched replacement sanding disc on Amazon. 
found it pretty quickly. But if anybody needs help, I'll put the link to where we bought ours in the description. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And uh, hopefully you can get your sander fixed if you've got a, a busted sander disc.